Michael Hall has an inspiring story. A rock blaster by profession, Hall had a passion for cars and began collecting them in his teens. Decades later, he became the proud owner of over 400 cars parked on his property near the Trans-Canada Highway. After desperately trying to sell off his cars and property, Mike ends up going viral and ends up with his own documentary series. In this video, we take a look at Hall's career and the challenges his show faced. We'll also see what he's up to these days. If you are a fan of Hall and Rust Valley Restorers, you don't want to miss this one, so make sure you watch till the end. Rust Valley Restorers Popularity and Challenges Before starting in Rust Valley Restorers and bringing classic cars back to life, Mike started a slope stabilization business called Chimera Springs Rockworks. He restored various rock face sculptures and made sure to create safe environments wherever he took work. After working for years, he made a decent sum and took time off to relax. He finally decided to dedicate time to his true passion, cars. He would spend weekends looking through old garages and junkyard sales, searching for hidden gems to restore. After several successful projects, Hall moved back to British Columbia and started Russ Bros Restorations. The shop was used to hold and sometimes repair old muscle cars, which at some point numbered over 400. He had no intentions of selling the cars, it was all a personal fashion project. However, he came to a certain realization that made him shift away from repairing and hoarding. He once said in an interview, I'll be 60 too soon, my dad died at 60. I've seen buddies dying or running into health problems, leaving their families with all kinds of stuff to deal with. What are my wife and kids going to do with 400 cars in a field? Hall tried to sell both his cars and property for $1.19 million in 2016. Unfortunately, there were no takers. He then raised the price to $1.45 million in 2017, which opened another door. The story went viral and Hall found himself fielding calls from collectors all over the world and from video producers who proposed documentaries on the wild man's collection. Then, Tyson Hepburn and Matt Shuchuk of Vancouver-based Mayhem Entertainment proposed a documentary-style series to Mike. These guys knew Hall from a guest appearance he'd make on Highway Through Hell, a Discovery Canada show Shoe Chuck directed. In it, Hall was called in to blow up rogue boulders. Both parties eventually agreed and that's how we landed with Rust Valley Restorers. The show grew gradually, gaining new fans every season. Today, Rust Valley Restorers is one of the most popular television series. While fans love watching Mike and his crew working on old rusty cars, the story behind the scenes is far less glorious. You see, restoring and selling old cars isn't easy. The crux of this earning strategy is to spend some money, restore old cars and sell them for a higher price. However, this is far from easy. Mike needs to find a buyer for each restored car and not everyone is appreciative of the work put in to restore old cars. As a result, sometimes the invested money is lost which makes Hall's day-to-day -day uncertain but the show significantly more interesting. One great example is when Mike and his crew sat down to work on a 1966 Lincoln Continental. They wanted to restore the car for just $15,000. However, it ended up costing them a lot more for the entire process. Another example was his praised Chevelle SS 396, which eventually sold for $10,000. This value was much lower than the $20,000 Hall intended to sell it for. The only reason he sold the car was so that he could keep the shop running. Despite these ups and downs, the show is entertaining and keeps viewers on the edge as to what comes next. The series has also won several awards and nominations. Rust Valley Restorers has already won 5 awards and has been nominated for 5 more. It took home 5 Leo Awards in 2020. It also won the Canadian Screen Awards in 2020. Rust Valley Restorers has quickly gained momentum, becoming one of the top 5 cars shows on Netflix. Hal's passion for classic vehicles is evident in all of his work. He believes in bringing classic cars back to life with authentic techniques and parts rather than using modern technology. His team works hard to preserve the car's history rather than just restoring it to look new. This approach has earned Hall considerable praise from the classic car community. What is Mike Hall doing these days? So, what is Mike Hall up to these days? Well, Mike has sold most of the 400 cars in his collection. He has kept some of his favorites, such as all of his 1970s Dutch Super Beast collections and some Chevys, including a 64 Malt B SS 4-speed convertible he's had for 30 years and a Buick GS 4-speed he's had for 4 decades. 
After record sales for some of his cars, Mike refilled his remaining cars fit in one yard for the first time. He plans to hand the reins to his son Connor Hall, who has experience handling cars and has starred on the show. In preparation for his demise, Mike wants his son to take over and continue running the family business with the help of Mike's trusted friend, Avery Shove. Speaking of Season 5, The Rusty Valley Restorers, there are no talks about the show being renewed. Mike is currently taking the time off to work on his farm. The show's fans are eagerly waiting for a new season. So, what are your thoughts? Will Season 5 of Rust Valley Restorers air? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you for watching.